sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Then you're dickhead. It's no problem to kill you. You gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luis. Me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over there. I was driving my car, and I realized, Fernando, you are blessed. You are a miracle. A thousand miracles rolled into one. You saved the marriage, and you don't put the marriage first, and you don't put the man first. Maybe you call it a bad marriage. And I think to myself, no, this is a bad marriage. It sounds really dumb. This is Luigi's club. Let's go around the back. Come to daddy.
Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to eight ball, lady. Eight ball's got some business upstairs. Or maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Guidance made easy. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bustable woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is depression? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a farmer. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, guys, sleeping with other women. You're the best. You're the best. Just the thing. 